So in the previous video, we were talking about formatting numeric values, numeric values as currency. But I also talked about that, you know what, we have some percentages here. And when I did the raw calculation, I got a percentage, but it's a decimal percentage. And I want to turn this into an actual percent style. So I'm going to select my percentages. This is just the F column. It's F5 to F9. I've got them selected. And up in my home tab, back underneath number, right next door to the currency style that we just used, I've got my percent style. One button press. Boop, and I've got my percentages. Great. Now, I want to point out that there are some additional options that we can work with here when you convert to your percentage style. Now, some of these got rounded on me. Let's undo that for a moment. I'm going to hit my undo button. And let's see, I got 70%, I got 2%, which is pretty close to 3. I got 6, I got 1, which is, uh, actually I got, excuse me, 17% uh, inside of there. And I've got 3%. Let's see what happens when I convert this into percent style. All right, 73, that was like 2.9, right? I got 6, I got 17, I got 3. Now, some of these, again, did round on me. They rounded up. Well, if you want to get a more accurate percentage out of this, up inside the number styles, once again, I've got my increase and decrease decimal buttons. So I'm going to increase. I'm going to increase by two decimals. Click, click, two clicks, and I've now got a more accurate percentage based off of those decimal percentages that I started out with. So a couple simple changes. Format your percentages as percent styles, just the percent symbol up here. And if needed or if wanted, you can increase or decrease your decimal places. So try this out. Open up your monthly budget, open up the exercise file, and try it out. Format your dollars, format your percent symbols.